Well, hello everybody. Holy moly, I'm just realizing I think it's Friday the 13th, January 13th, 2023. It is Friday the 13th, and this is the calm before the storm, folks. How are you all doing today? It's great to hear from you all. Um, we have a good amount of snow potentially coming, so I'm super looking forward to it. It looks like we're going to have possibly tomorrow, if everything still pans out, we could have uh, throughout the whole day five to eight inches of snow coming. But I'm going to look up for sure and see. Let's see here. Okay, so I'll tell you guys exactly what it is. And right now we're on Moon Ridge Road. Um, tomorrow, you guys, rain and snow in the morning, becoming all snow in the afternoon with a high of 38 degrees. Uh, chance of precipitation 100%. Snow will be one to three inches during the day, but then snow in the evening will give way to lingering snow showers overnight. Wind southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Chance of snow 100%. Snow accumulating five to eight inches tomorrow night, you guys. Five to eight inches tomorrow night. And then Sunday, folks. Sunday, Sunday, fun day, huh? Um, Sunday, we've got one to three inches coming in the evening time. Just some on and off snow showers during the day. Not much accumulation. And then Monday, we've got one to three inches of snow in the morning time. And then about an inch of snow in the afternoon slash evening. So that's what we've got going on, guys. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Hopefully it pans out. But <laughs> you guys know. You guys know what happens with this. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out for us. We could really, really use a nice little snowpack for all the all the the snow people, all you snow people like me. We want a beautiful snowpack up here, but that's pretty rare. I mean, we'll get once in a blue moon a huge series of storms that sends us two to four feet of snow, but we haven't seen anything like that since Thanksgiving Day a few years back. But yeah, once again, this is the calm before the storm, folks. Tomorrow's gonna be the biggest day of the three. So those of you coming up here, I suggest you get your buns up here sooner than later. Make sure you get up here safe and sound so you can have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna have some fun up in Big Bear, oh boy. We're gonna go skiing and snowboarding and sledding and just every kind of ing possible. Take it easy. Take it easy over there. All right, so we're going by, by Bear Mountain right now. Just want you guys to get a look at what is going on in this place. Now let's see here. Here's Bear. Parking lot is full. Guys, all of our satellite parking lots are being used today. So there's a lot of people up here. There are a lot of people up here. Just please be extremely uh, uh, aware of that because we have a ton of people. And uh, that guy looked like he got punched in the face, poor guy. You see that huge uh, welt under under his eye? Usually that doesn't happen when you're wearing a helmet out here, so I, I hope he didn't get, get into a fight. You know what's crazy is that Bear Mountain, when, when I was younger, um, there used to be a lot of fights between skiers and snowboarders. And uh, it, it, was, it was a fight for sure. And you would see brawls all the time up here. It was crazy. And guys, hang on a second, the wife, is calling me. Hang on, just give me a moment. Hey, babe, you're on. You're you're on the video. How are you doing? Oh, hello, video. I'm doing good. <laughs> good. Good. I'm glad glad to hear it. I'm. Uh, yeah. Having a great day. What, baby? The video and the beautiful view. It is a beautiful day for a walk in the neighborhood. So that's what we're doing here. And uh, um, it's the calm before the storm video. Basically just letting everyone know that we got tomorrow possibility, if it all works out, like 10 plus inches of snow. But I'm predicting three inches of snow. Um, it's gonna start off as rain though, babe. So it's gonna be cold, but it'll transition. I'm hopeful this time. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, we got three straight days of on and off snow. I know you're not too thrilled about that, but... Uh, Literally crying while you're saying. <laughs> so you but guys, everybody needs to get up right now and go for a walk because there is no snow on the roads. Yeah, it's it's it's. Road conditions are great. You get you guys should come up here 
today if you can if you want to be in the snow for the weekend because it's going to be really tough for you guys to get up here tomorrow but uh but the walkway we have beautiful walkways and beautiful sceneries that are made for that don't walk on the curb in the middle of the street yeah yeah ab absolutely <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, babe, um, can I call you back as soon as I'm done with this? Of course. I love you. I'll I, talk to you later. I love you too, honey. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, baby. All right, guys. Sorry about that. That was the old ball and chain. The old ball and chain. So check it out. Um, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of the video, so I might have to post a little clip at the beginning. My uh, interview on Fox Fox Weather <clears throat> is going to be three to five minutes long, you guys. Three to five minutes long on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. So the producer said that they're going to give me a link right after the fact, and then I will make a short, a YouTube short, to, to tell you guys. So those of you who are, are interested in seeing your boy on on some form of national television type stuff. That'll be freaking awesome. I'm excited about that. I'm excited for you guys too, because you guys are the ones who have made this happen for me. Like really, I'm just following my passion. I love doing this. This is a, a great side gig, even though it, it doesn't like pay me formally, but, uh, I, 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 I love what I do and I am happy and seeking happiness before seeking the financials has been such a blessing for me. So I just want you guys to know, thank you so much to each and every single one of you for showing me so much love and respect and uh, bringing this opportunity about for me. Because this is all about you guys. You guys have done this for me. You guys are beautiful, loving, kind, selfless people. So thank you guys so much for everything, including the donations. I'm telling you guys, it, it helps me so much. And like I say every time, I know everybody could use donations. Everybody could use the help. But for me, I am just beyond grateful for you guys because it, it really does help me out a lot. And also, I like to remind everyone that it's, it's, it's not like I'm sitting on the couch getting donations, doing nothing. And I'm not begging you guys. You guys, out of the kindness of your hearts, are showing me so much love, so much respect, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. But yeah, Tuesday, this next Tuesday. So if today's Friday the 13th, 14th, 15th, so it'll be the 17th at 9 a.m. And then uh, after the segment is over, as I said, I will post a link, no matter how good or bad I do, um, on a YouTube short video for you all. Or maybe I'll do a normal video and uh, just talk about it at the beginning. But I'm excited about that. Hopefully someday I can be your guys' main correspondent up here. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to shave like most of my beard. Um, I'm going to wear this beanie tomorrow. My wife wants me to, to pick out a brand new beanie of all, all my beanies. She's like, cause I want your eyes to pop and I want this and that. She is so cute. Like she is so cute. So she wants to make me look really, really, really pretty. She said she wants to primp me up tomorrow <laughs> or on Tuesday. She's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. But yeah, so um, back to the weather information, you guys. And check this out. I've never noticed until just recently, this view of the lake and Big Bear Lake and Baldwin Lake over there, it looks like a shark. Baldwin Lake looks like the shark's tail fin. And then right here looks like the front of the shark with a dorsal fin or whatever that shark fin is called. We definitely don't call it shark fin soup. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I am so excited, you guys. Once again, thank you for everything. You guys are allowing me to follow my passion. As, as I said, once I gave up years ago on seeking money first and then happiness second and really, really focused on that, obviously we need money to survive, you know, but I've always been able to just barely pull through and that's okay. And that's okay because now the opportunities could be mounting for me and I might be able to actually make an income off of what I love to do. So that would be terrific. I would never have to like work a regular nine to five again. I could just keep on doing what I love to do. And that's the goal. I don't care how long it takes me because I'll never stop doing this. I love it. So, 
potholes everywhere in town right now though guys i mean it's, it's this is the worst year for potholes i've ever seen but yeah so we're going to be cruising through the village in a moment here and we're probably going to go why not we'll, we'll, we'll just go around the lake for the calm before the storm so you guys can see how much snow remains in town right now my main purpose for the calm before the storm videos guys is is to show you guys how much snow we have left in town <clears throat> and so you can see the road conditions. So if you want to come up now, you don't, you have nothing to fear. You guys will be good. You guys will be safe. And I'm always here to answer any questions for you guys. So, um, super exciting, super exciting. I want you guys to get your buns up here. I think a lot of you already have. And as a matter of fact, real quick, I need to text the wife and let her know that it's Friday the 13th. By the way, baby, it's Friday the 13th. <clears throat> Tomorrow night, we're gonna to go to Captain's Anchorage to celebrate um, our, basically our six month wedding anniversary. I know it's just six months, it's not a year, but um, I would celebrate it every day with her if, if I could afford it like that. And then we're also gonna celebrate my uh, introduction to the news media with being invited. I've been on the news up here a couple times when I saw the news trucks and then I walked up to them and convinced them to let me be on the news, but they're only like 10, 12 second clips at the most but it was really cool seeing myself on tv like that <laughs> i couldn't believe it so we're gonna go through or actually no we're gonna take the main routes that you guys always take so you can see what it's like coming into town once again we're going against the grain of the heavier traffic that's coming into town just so we don't get stuck in it and you guys can get a good sense of what it looks like driving into town i am so excited for this next storm. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know it's gonna snow, oh, snow, oh. Driving down the boulevard and it's snowing. <laughs> Someone needs to slap me really hard. Because I'm so annoying and I know it's not funny well, this is me that's just who we are <laughs> I could never be a rapper my brain doesn't work fast enough to like come up with rhymes and stuff like that it's quickly but yeah here's a great place to take your kids sledding and doing a little roller coaster I think it's called the mine shaft roller coaster that big truck's kind of blocking our view you bastard you bastard so that's a place where you pay to go and I strongly suggest it because Paying to go there is a lot better, I think, than driving around, finding your own spots. If you find your own spots, please, please, super important, you guys, that you make sure that you're not going anywhere where there's no trespassing signs, stuff like that. Sometimes they're hard to spot, especially when we have snow up here, because a lot of the signs get snow plastered to them. So you have to be super careful. Um, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. Um, there's, there's, you know, people protect their properties up here. and. I do too, I protect mine too, so. Um, but yeah, just be super, super careful. But any place that you guys can find that says, that, that doesn't say no trespassing or anything like that, by all means, have some fun. Get on your buns and have some funs. But I like the paid places, you guys. Yes, it does cost, cost money. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but uh, for the kids to be able to go up and down the hill on a conveyor belt, or up the hill on a conveyor belt and then sled down on a sled, just constantly doing that, they will not get tired. And so you guys will get your money's worth, I assure you. But as I always tell you guys, try to come up here if you can during the week. Midweek is best to avoid the huge crowds. Um, even this time of year, since the holiday season's over, if you come up midweek, even during a huge snowstorm, you're still not gonna have that many people here. It's it's freaking amazing up here, you guys. Um, it's obviously special with everyone up here, but you you can't get around anywhere. That's that's the biggest issue. Is it's just a nightmare to, to drive anywhere. So, therefore, I tell you guys to come up during the week. And also prices on everything from lodging and. Uh, even some of the restaurants, I'm sure some of the prices go down during the week. <clears throat> and this time of year when we don't have snow, you guys could possibly get really hooked up. 
because some of these places are smart and they'd rather take some money than nothing. So, um, I mean, if we don't have snow or, or any recent snowstorms and you guys do choose to come up here, try to negotiate with some of these hotels. You never know. You never know. All right, guys, we're coming up to Boulder Bay. This is Boulder Bay Park. Coming up here on the right-hand side. And once again, the further we go this direction, you guys, the more snow we come into. From here to the Big Bear Dam, it's the snowiest part of the valley. Just beautiful. And then this side doesn't get much direct sunlight because it's on the hillside at a very steep angle. So it, it, it'll get a little bit of, of, of direct sunlight, but because of the sun's angle, you're not gonna get that much. That's why there's still a good amount of snow over there. Oh yeah. And never forget any questions you guys have, I will always be here to answer them. I try to respond to you guys, like I try to check every hour or so. Um, even though I do have a full-time gig every day, I work about 60 hours a week. Um, once again, it's another passion of mine. And uh, yeah, I get to wake up every day and say, holy cow, I get to do this today. When all my life it was, oh shoot, I don't wanna go to work today. Oh man, how can I call in sick? What's a good excuse today? Now nobody, nobody do I, uh, depend on financially. I create and generate my own income and it feels so good because after years of doing this, like, and my other gig, I can create my own hours for the most part. So I, I basically work my own hours. Um, if I'm not feeling, feeling good, I, I mean, I have to be really not feeling good, but if I'm not feeling good, I'll definitely just sleep in later and I don't have to worry about using excuses or anything like that. It's taken a lot of sacrifice, a lot of top ramen, a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches over the past eight or nine years. But I'll tell you what, if you believe in yourself, it's worth every freaking second to sacrifice all that stuff. All the nicer foods, nicer rents, nicer this, nicer that. Um, yeah, I have a really nice car now. I mean, I know a lot of people wouldn't consider even the nicest Subaru Outback, which is what I have, the Touring XT, a lot of people would like laugh at me if I said I have a really nice car, but I think this is a really nice car. When I was selling real estate in Newport Beach for my mom's company, I was driving a Mercedes 500. That's a really nice car too. But believe it or not, this car feels very similar to that. It's got like souped up suspension. It's got this and that great braking system, all these safety features that my Mercedes didn't have. And the most important part is that I'm paying for this myself. Like, yeah, I'm 42 years old. I should be paying for everything by myself. And for the past eight years has been the only time in my whole life that I've paid for everything. And I've been able to give back a little bit to mom and dad every month for the past four years. It's not much, but I've come to a point where years ago I decided that I don't need anything extra and I didn't expect to get married either, but I don't need anything extra in, in my life. I don't even want much anymore. So anything that I had left over, I was sending to mom and dad because of all the pain and suffering I put them through growing up. And even as a young adult, guys, I've been to nine rehab centers, nine rehabs and two sober living houses. And now I'm almost, uh, on June 23rd, it'll be 10 years clean from alcohol. Who would have thunk? But funny enough, everything in my life changed when I quit drinking. I always thought it was hyperbole being used in AA meetings about the promises and stuff like that. But no, it's the absolute truth. You know, sometimes the good things will happen slowly and sometimes they'll happen quickly, but it'll always materialize if you work for it. And in my case, just staying clean from alcohol has been a lot of work. But now I don't think about it. The obsession has been lifted. And now I get to drive around and record our weather up here um, and just try to make you guys proud and keep you guys as safe as I possibly can. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I would inevitably be doing this channel no matter what, but you guys give me so much reason to want to do it and do it all the time. Like any chance that I get, 
any weather event that we have. And I'm going to start doing more stuff this summer when we have significantly less weather, I promise. Um, I have a buddy of mine, Andy, he works at Lakeview Market. He, 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 he wants to do stuff like, uh, like uh, go in, um, interview restaurant owners and eat, eat at the restaurants. And, and uh, I really want to drag him along with us because he's a super, super cool cat. He's helped me with my other business and stuff like that. So he's truly an amazing man. And uh, I want to give back to him also. Um, he really wants to be a, a, a part of this and I would love for him to be a part of this. He does a lot of sound type of like sound engineering and stuff like that. And, um, I would love for, you know, him to talk about what he does. And if there's any way that you guys can like help him by like using his services or something like that, that would be awesome. I would never refer anybody just because they're my friend if they were crappy at what they do because my standards are super high. And especially when it comes to you guys, I never want to just be as nice as I am um, just to be nice. Like uh, you need to have some sort of a high impact and do really well at what you do. And then I'm happy to refer you. Um, and as much as I would wanna refer everybody for everything, as, as I said, I wanna make sure that the people who are going to eventually benefit from it are gonna know that whatever I send you guys is gonna be the best of the best. And each and every single one of you, man, is the best of the best. Each and every single one of you, there's no joke there. So guys, we're coming into the fawn skin, like the, the front part of fawn skin, closest to the dam. But this view of the lake and the mountains across is just beautiful. Thank you guys again for everything. Um, and as you can see, there's not a whole bunch of snow over here, but this is why I like doing these calm before the storm videos because with a good sized storm like this next one coming, this will this will give you a great perspective. So you can you can flip back from from this video to the next video, or it probably won't be the next video that'll be super great to show the huge difference. It'll probably be like the aftermath video where you can really get a good sense of how much it snowed, how much different the environment looks because of the snow. Oh, I just love doing it. I'm, I'm so excited, you guys. I am so excited. So let me see here. Let me see here. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see. responding well it is absolutely my pleasure and once again you have an amazing soul yourself my friend and it is rare to come across people like you so thank you again I'm really 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 stoked to introduce my wife to you guys and I'm making a video while I'm texting you this right now so the people on my channel can know that I am speaking to you guys and I'll talk more about your company in the village right now so guys, that is uh, someone who owns, the. it's a new honey store in the village, next to Jack in the Box, kind of. I think it's called the Honey Bee. Oh my gosh, I would feel so bad if that's not correct. But I think that's what it's called. They just had their grand opening about a week and a half ago. Um, they're just really nice people. They're just really nice people, but once again, the product is freaking phenomenal. And they want me to come by sometime today to pick up a free jar of, uh, of, of their best honey. And I'm excited to do that, you guys. I'm excited to go get some honey and give it to my wife. All right, let me roll down the window. Maybe it'll be a better view. So this is one of my favorite houses because of how it sits and the view right here. Look at this view they have from their freaking house right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, you guys. This is such a beautiful place. So we're coming into the eagle habitat, you guys. Look, there's no snow to the right. And then you look to the left, it's like blah. Blah. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. 
so much snow over here. I mean, it's not so much, but once again, this is another area where the eagle's habitat is that doesn't get as much direct sunlight as most of the town because of all the trees and being on the hillside. But yeah, here's a sign, look, it says closed, eagle habitat area, do not enter. But when we get good snow, guys, there's cars parked all along the street. And there's no parking signs every 50 feet, but um, just like me in some cases, hooked on phonics doesn't work for most people, <laughs> and, and they'll park there. And you will get ticketed, and it's not a, it's not a nice little fee. So um, if I lived over here, I would let you guys park in my driveway so you wouldn't have to get an iron ticket and you could come sled, but they don't want you sledding over here either. And, I, and I'm very much uh, wanting to respect that because of the eagle habitat. I used to refer you guys over here all the time and a lot of people got really mad at me and I'm like, what are you getting so upset about? I'm just trying to have the tourists have a good time and not have to spend any money sledding and enjoy themselves. What's the big deal? And then they explained to me, yelling at me, like literally yelling at me and cursing at me on the darn channel uh, that it's the eagle habitat. Who do I think I am? And this and that. And I'm like, geez, I'm sorry. I, if I would have known, I, I wouldn't do that. I really wouldn't. So anyway, we're in downtown Fonskin. Downtown Fonskin. Downtown Fonskin. All right, hang tight, guys. And we'll be coming around the mountain and when she comes. Look at this beautiful view in the background of San Gorgonio. Let me zoom in. That tall mountain in the back behind Snow Summit and Bear Mountain. That's San Gorgonio, you guys. That's on the far left is the highest peak in Southern California. I think it's 11,555 feet. And a fun fact that I've mentioned to you guys in the past, this is a really cool, really cool fun fact. So I live in a mountain range which produces the, the, the furthest, uh, um, oh my gosh, what's that word called? Um, vantage point in the whole North American area. So basically you can see the furthest on a clear day than you can anywhere else in the country. And it's, you can see San Gorgonio from Mount Whitney up in the Sierras on a clear day. And I think that's, it's like 195 miles. So you can literally see 195 miles. You can be up on top of Mount Whitney and look at this mountain range. Just amazing, just amazing. And I'm wondering if they can see San Jacinto from there, but I don't think so because uh, as I said, the furthest vantage point in the whole country and maybe even North America period is uh, Mount Whitney to San Gorgonio. So I feel like that's pretty cool that you can see the furthest anywhere in the country from this mountain range. I'm assuming that you can see Mount Whitney from the top of San Gorgonio on a clear day if you can see San Gorgonio from Mount Whitney, right? Wouldn't that make sense? <clears throat> so these are some of the streets that go back into the hills of Fonskin. There's some beautiful homes back up in there. This is a really peaceful place to be, you guys, because there's there's not as much hustle and bustle on this side. Uh, they have a little market, like a, like a liquor store type size of a place. And I think it closes at like seven or, or eight o'clock, which is pretty late for this side. But yeah, you have to drive all the way around the lake to get to the other side. Um, it's just a pain in the butt. But if that's the type of life that you want out here, if you want to move up here and you just don't want to be dealing with anybody or all the hustle and bustle up here, then Fonskin is a great place to be, you guys. It's a terrific place to be. Very, very quiet, especially off of the main drag. It's just, there's no sound. It is so, so quiet, almost kind of creepy and eerie. Look at that view. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. So all of this is gonna be covered in snow after this weekend, you guys. It's gonna be beautiful. All of this. Okay, so let's see here. I got another message to respond to. It's a friend of the channel. They actually have an Airbnb, and so I try to help them get it booked. 
just by uh, whenever you guys ask me if I know of, of anybody, I just found out that they actually have an Airbnb. It's their own place that they rent out a lot. They go back down to, I think like the San, the San Diego area during this time of season. It's a cute house in Sugarloaf. If any of you are still watching the video to this point and you're interested, let me know. And then I can hook you guys up with them. Um, <clears throat> as always, you guys, I don't ever want anything for helping you guys out like that. Um, the donations are, I love, they help me so much, but I'm, I'm trying to say like, if I refer somebody to you for something or help you guys do something like that, I would never want anything. I just want you guys to have a good time. I want you guys to enjoy yourselves up here because once again, without you guys, I'm not living here. I don't get to live here without you guys. You guys create all the jobs up here. So thank you. I am so thankful for you guys. So let me see what she has to say. Oh. <clears throat> I will definitely send you and your husband a link to the interview. As I said, it's going to be Tuesday at 9 a.m. And by the way, happy Friday the 13th. Okay. So we're not going to do the whole town on this drive, you guys. We're just going to go to Stanfield Cutoff. So we're basically just going around the lake. We basically stayed at the main tourist part of the area. Because that's what most of you are used to. And I want you guys to be familiar with what you're seeing. But also, when, when, like when it's actually snowing good out there and I drive through neighborhoods and stuff like that, I like doing that for you guys too because then you guys can get a different perspective. I'm just... <clears throat> You guys have been trying to help me out big time to attach a GPS type of a thing to each one of my videos. So when I post a video, like on the bottom right corner, it'll show where we're at, the the uh, longitude and latitude, this and that. And I'm, you know, you guys have explained it to me, but I'm I'm struggling trying to like figure it out, and I'm I'm afraid of like that much more work. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll, I'll do it with a smile on my face, a legitimate smile, but it's just, uh, you know, if I can find a way to do it without it being a whole bunch more, more effort. Cause as I said, I work 60 plus hours a week on my regular job. And then this YouTube channel can add up another 40 hours a week when we have a series of storms, because Keep in mind, I respond to every comment and I respond with a personal message. I don't just copy and paste anything. I love you guys, like, I love you guys. And I really want to help you guys. So it, it takes me a long, long time to do what I do on this channel, it, a long time. It's like a full-time job this time of year. But I would never call it a job because I love what I do. And I don't really get paid, really. <laughs> you guys hook it up. But YouTube, I'm still not there yet. Some months, I've made a few hundred bucks, and it's usually like these months, this time of year. But it's it's really nothing to write home about. But once again, when you're following your passion, you guys, and then the icing on the cake is a couple bucks comes in, it's a beautiful thing. Like, it's a beautiful thing. So I am super, super thankful. And, and like every time I do get a direct deposit on the 21st of the month, I'm like blown away, almost almost in tears because I can't believe that it's actually happening to me. But yeah, it's on the 21st of, uh, of each month. If I break a, the $100 threshold through all the ads and stuff like that being watched or however it works, then they'll, they'll put a, a direct deposit from Google, and it says from Google, like Google Incorporated. How cool is that? Google puts a direct deposit in my bank account maybe three months out of the year. And uh, I think the most I ever had was like, like 600 bucks, but that was like way more than any other month. Usually I'm like just over a hundred bucks on the months that I actually make it. And uh, it's super exciting because you guys see how passionate I am about this. I love doing this. This makes me so happy. 
And then the comments I receive from you guys make me so happy. I love it. Look at this guy flying up here. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? So here, we're at Stanfield Cutoff now, guys. I'm sure you guys want to Stanfield cut off my freaking microphone because I never Stanfield shut up. But uh, we need to Stanfield cut me off here. <clears throat> so here we go, Stanfield Cutoff. And one of my favorite views of the lake. We're, you know, we're going to open the sunroof for the second time since I've owned this car. And hold the camera up. Oh, wait. And then see what we can do here. There was a police officer, so I'm a little bit scared to hold the, the camera up like that. So we're not going to put it out through the sunroof. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong by doing this, but maybe, maybe I am. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I'm going to have to put this down for a moment. Because now I am being followed. So hang on. So we just turned right on Big Bear Boulevard. And I'm going to have to probably cut the video short right now. But I love you guys very much. Thank you for the support always. You guys mean the world to me. It's Friday the 13th of January 2023 in Big Bear, California. I love you all very much. This is the calm before the storm. Get ready for possibly a foot of snow in the next three days if it happens.